Nicholas Stripes, it's great to have you back on the show. Hello, how are you You're doing? definitely one of our favourites. Um, first off, we have to talk about the walking stick. What's that about? Uh, operation on my foot, so I can't walk. Being a rock and That's roll it. star. Yeah, oh yeah. And the shoe appropriate. Too. Oh, yeah, and the matching shoe. It's gorgeous. They took the shade of his mouth, they like the way that he spoke. They flew him out of the sticks and put him up in the smoke. Recently we found out that you guys are going to be supporting the Free Fighters. We are, How are you correct. feeling about that? Very excited. Ex. Static. Very happy. Very happy. Uh, ah, you know, grand, like, yeah. But we were, <laughs> we were like, deemed worthy, which was great. Deadly. And um, I, I watched the documentary about you guys, uh, the stripes, the best things, uh, the best things in Scabbing. Well, you're proud of how the film came out and kind of proud of how you kind of it was received. Everyone seemed to really enjoy it. It was so cute. There's, like, footage of you when you're little kids and you're, you know, you're playing along with the Kaiser Chiefs and stuff. Oh, so funny. We're massive Kaiser Chiefs fans, and that was, like, they were a massive band when we were sort of eight, nine years old, so we were in love with that album. So to see, I think we're as excited to see them as we are to see the foods. To make him look pretty, they said the kids would dig if he looked like he came from the city. They listened back to his cuts, his music was tight, but if he changed a couple lyrics in the chorus, it might sound fresher than ever. How did you feel that your first album was received? I thought very well, yeah, uniformly across the board. There was a few kind of people at grievances with it, but sure, no one's gonna like everything, and you can't please everybody. It was a great statement of intent, I thought, our first album, you know, this is what the band is like, there you go, this is, what, this is exactly what you're going to hear when we yeah. play. Obviously now you've been working on the second album, yes. so did you change anything or how did you approach it? The difference really with this album than the first album was that we hadn't got to road test any of the songs for this new record. With the first record, we had all the songs sort of there and it was sort of just a thing of going in and recording them pretty much live. Uh, whereas with this record, we had the sort of bare songs and went in and just spent a lot more time on the sort of production side of it and, and working the songs. How long have you been together now as a band? Five years, yeah. So has, has the dynamics changed much over the years? There's never been like a hierarchy at all, and it, which is great. You know, we're, we're all just four really stubborn lads uh, who have, you know, incredibly stubborn opinions. And we clash, yeah. <laughs> hour, hour, hourly, hourly we clash. Um, which is great though, because then no one thinks they're, you know, Mick Jagger. <laughs> Album, it's recorded. It's yeah, recorded, mastered. Do you have a name? Uh, not yet. When Couple can of we hear titles. it? You can hear it. Uh, well, you can hear it after this interview if you want. Deadly, um, cool. But uh, it's no. We're hopefully going to have it out uh, sort of late summer. Uh, we're not sure of a release date yet. And but are you going to be performing some of the new songs on the stage in Slane? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the majority yeah. of the tunes. Deadly. Yeah. Stupid not to. It would be stupid not to. Brilliant. Well, I wish you the best of luck with the release of the second album. Can't wait to hear it. Thanks, Thanks so very much, much, guys. Thank you. I'm in love with